now this capacitor is damaged at 16 volt in reverse polarity which are the rated voltage but at 16 volt this capacitor is destroyed if you connect this capacitor in forward condition forward direction maybe it will work at 20 volt no problem but in reverse polarity it will damage immediately so never do this practice Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu Friends today we will discuss the polarity of a capacitor When we see a capacitor It is in many shapes Either it is polar, non-polar It have to store the charge Some capacitors are used to couple the signal But the mainly its duty is to hold a charge To store a charge we have some capacitors used in AC circuits that have no polarity and they are called non-polarized capacitors. These capacitors are AC capacitors. These are used in AC. So line and neutral, it have no polarity. If you see this capacitor, it have marking 1 microfarad 150 volt AC. When it is written AC, that means it have no polarity. The capacitor used in our fans, in washing machines, refrigerators, that have no polarity. That are used in AC lines. So this capacitor have no polarity. It is non-polarized capacitor. It have 330 microfarad, 200 volt. It is some marking for some manufacturer. Then 330 microfarad, that is its capacitance. Then it have F200 wv it is volt then negative positive it have polarity so that means it is a polarized capacitor and it is 85 degree centigrade it is its working temperature and then we have another marking that is negative sign that is a white bar any bar any marking that will define that is negative terminal okay it is negative marked capacitor that means it is polarized capacitor it have negative sign one lead is this side and second lead other side and we have negative marking and there is arrow mark that this lead is negative so in this way we can identify the polarity here is VAC that means voltage AC but here is DC so it means it is polarized and this one non polarized if there is no marking the metal body that is the negative pole and the epoxy field that is positive then we have this capacitor so this capacitor have positive marking so positive marking on this color negative side it is solid aluminium so you can say it is positive if we look this capacitor this side is plastic body and the other side have yellow side yellow type filling so this one is positive and here we have positive sign that means this side is positive and this side is negative if we have negative or positive marking that means this capacitor is polarized here we have positive sign that means this lead is positive this capacitor here is marking positive positive marking will identify the positive lead then we have double capacitor in these capacitors we have this common lead it is black black lead common that is negative we have two leads positive with yellow marking and positive sign so these two leads one capacitor from this point to this and second from this terminal to this terminal first of all to test a capacitor switch to capacitance mod make short the both leads so that the capacitor should not have any charge positive lead to positive negative lead to negative lead it is giving 300 microfarad but this capacitor is 2200 microfarad that means this capacitor is bad then I have this capacitor it is 1000 microfarad 25 volts it is giving 910 microfarad that means this capacitor is good it is 
ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्ट कैपेसिटर आई विल टेक एक्सटर्नल पावर सप्लाई एंड फर्स्ट वी विल कनेक्टेड टू पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव पिन टू पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव पिन टू नेगेटिव दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट जस्ट फॉर एजुकेशनल पर्पज नेवर ट्राई दिस आई विल यूज दिस मल्टीमीटर टू मैर वोल्टेज एंड वी विल यूज दिस मल्टीमीटर टू मैर करंट I am applying DC. So positive line will enter in this multimeter, and the out terminal will connected here to the capacitor, and we will we will connect negative terminal of multimeter voltmeter here, and the positive terminal. to measure the voltage here now this multimeter will show current dc current and we will see the response of the multimeter i applied 22 volt our this capacitor is 25 volt i am applying 25 volt at 30 volt in good polarity because negative is connected to negative and positive is connected to positive because positive coming from here from multimeter from this ampere meter now our this multimeter is working as an ampere meter so it is 0.002 ampere that means 1 milli ampere current is flowing that is a normal at 30 volt dc and this capacitor is normal it have no problem now i will reduce the voltage and we will reverse the polarity of this capacitor it is just only this video is just for education purpose so that we should not connect the capacitor in reverse polarity if we will connect in reverse polarity now we will see the result what will happen now i connected the negative side to positive and positive side to the negative terminal of the battery so because this end from the ampere meter it is positive side and now i am increasing the voltage and then we will see the response and it is just only for education purpose to know that we have to take care for the polarity i applied a reverse voltage 2.5 volt 3 volt 6 volt in forward condition at 30 volt it was flowing just only 0.001 ampere we can say 1 milli ampere but at 8 volt in reverse polarity it is giving 5 milli ampere 10 volt 22 milli ampere 20 milli ampere current is flowing in 15 volt reverse we can see at 15 volt in reverse polarity this capacitor is damaged it take about 8 ampere current and after that now it will not hold a charge we will try another capacitor this capacitor 16 volt capacitor and we will connect it in reverse polarity positive of the capacitor we will connect in negative and the negative side we will connect to the positive side of the power supply i connected this 16 microfarad capacitor the positive side is connected to the negative side and negative is connected to the positive side 
of this multimeter. I connected this this capacitor in reverse polarity. And now we will see what will happen. Here voltage, here current. 1 volt, 6 volt, 10 volt, 15, 16. I applied 16 volts and the capacitor started leakage. The current is increasing now. Sometimes it becomes fail immediately and now after the passage of time now the current is increasing. We have to see its result. We can see the voltage are stable. Fifty milliampere, fifty-five. Now its internal temperature will increase. Two hundred milliampere current. Now the current is increasing. The voltage started dropping. current increased and then decreased. Now this capacitor is near to damage, it have to blast. If we see it is coming out from this point. The outer cover After heating up, its pressure is built up. Now it is damaged. Now this capacitor is damaged. At 16 volt in reverse polarity, which are the rated voltage, but at 16 volt this capacitor is destroyed. If you connect this capacitor in forward condition, forward direction, maybe it will work at 20 volt, no problem. But in reverse polarity, it will damage immediately. So never do this practice. Never install a capacitor in reverse polarity in any board. So now the question, how we can find what is the correct polarity on any circuit in any board? First of all, if you look any board, it have a marking for a capacitor that this end will negative, this end will positive. Okay, I remove this capacitor. In the PCB here is positive and this end is a negative sign. So that means this end is negative. So th this capacitor will connect it in this way. If you don't have a marking on the board, then we have to locate the bridge rectifier. Here we have a bridge rectifier cut. So this cut is connected to the positive terminal of the capacitor very key point the cut side of the bridge rectifier it will go to the capacitor positive terminal if we are using a four diodes bridge rectifier discrete diode as it is using here in this battery charger the two diodes cathode side here it will go to 
the capacitor positive terminal. If we see this diode, this diode and this diode, these two cathode sides, the bar sides, that are the positive. So this end is positive. The anode side, this side, this diode and this diode, this diode and this diode. Two points of the anodes are connected to capacitor negative terminal. Very easy understanding for polarity of the capacitor. So we have to take care for the polarity and we have to connect the capacitor in correct way. And if we see capacitor in secondary side, so secondary side capacitor, if we are using a diode, a rectifier, the center point of most of the rectifiers is positive. So this positive end is connected to the capacitor and here we have capacitor so this end is positive and this end is negative. The center pin, cathode pin will go to capacitor positive and the other pins will go to the negative side of the capacitor. So friends I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative hit the like button. If you have any question please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.